Jeff Bodine, you know, uh, part of the NASCAR put out the top 50 best drivers in the world uh, or best NASCAR drivers, I think six or seven, might have been longer than eight years ago. And Jeff was considered one of those 50, you know what I mean? So if he's not in the NASCAR Hall of Fame yet, he will be. And, uh, man, the Bodine family, synonymous with NASCAR racing, Todd and Brett, and, uh, you know, everything that that family and those brothers have done in NASCAR racing is unbelievable. But Jeff Bodine, what a – you know, again, I think he was Rick Hendricks' first driver in NASCAR. When Hendr- when Rick Hendricks came in as owner, Jeff Bodine was, was their first driver. And I remember him winning the 1986 Daytona 500 and, you know, on and on and on. And I'm, what I remember about Jeff most is, man, I remember him and Dale Earnhardt, man. They were like, they just, those guys, they were constantly, they, you know, I don't, I don't know because I wasn't in the garage back then, but, uh, you know, I'm sure they've had a they had to separate them a time or two because man, watching it on TV on ESPN, it was always Jeff Bodine and Dale Earnhardt, man, beating and banging, you know. And uh, to That's see Jeff cool. at the racetrack these days, I ask him, what was it like? You know, what I mean, it's kind of cool to hear his stories, but you know, kind of like the fans and you guys, yeah, to, to hear about what Jeff's done with the USA Olympic teams on the bobsled sledding and and to have Jeff step over into that industry i thought was smart way back when that happened i don't know i think he's been a part of it maybe 15 10 years but you know with the engineering that jeff has and his knowledge of auto racing and what he's accomplished in our sport you always thought when you thought about when i heard that jeff was helping our usa olympic bot sledding team that they would benefit from that because you know because of what jeff did you look at his career and and what they did to his race cars he drove and the knowledge he has and how good he was you know i thought that was a very very smart on us our olympic team you know what i mean to take somebody with that engineering degree and and what jeff knows and apply it to bobsledding and it all it's kind of similar to Daytona and Talladega, how we try to get our cars to go through the wind. So uh good for Jeff. He's a great guy and, and uh, a lot of history behind him. And I'm glad to see him. Not only will he be inducted into the Hall of Fame that Dominic's talk about, you'll see him here in the future in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. 